Hey guys, welcome to Strong with Raj, no nonsense strength training. So this session was pretty no nonsense and uh, I must say this brutal strength cardio workout was an accidental discovery. Uh, this workout I had done about five or six days ago and while I was editing the video, I come across that I what I had done and if you could wait uh, until the end of the video, you will see what transpired because I have made that part unedited. So I had uh, this workout had squats, 140 kg, three sets of five, which is a separate video, and then press. So quite often I combined, uh, I do two lifts. And then there are some uh, dumbbell exercises I do, which I don't put in my videos. So to me, it matters how my lift, my four, big four lift I'm performing. So basically squat and press, deadlift and bench press and whole sort of mixes. And uh, I was uh, pretty pumped after my squats workout, three sets of five, 140 kg, pretty decent. And uh, I just uh, had been doing more press volume as you would know <laughs> after my failure, epic fails of trying 85 or 90 kg presses, I had uh, resorted to doing high volume um, light presses. So here I am building uh, towards 65 kg press, my top set, and uh, that is 10 reps, I believe. And while I was editing, I realized, ah, I had done something pretty cool, pretty brutal. And that is uh, the the package of this video. And, and also for me, because uh, not that I forgot, but I hadn't come across, I hadn't got around doing it again. So basically, uh, the idea is that you do your major lift back to back. So there are a few words and concepts that can be thrown. And one of them is circuit training, which is not quite this because circuit training involves, you know, body weight training and other uh, cardio type circuit, at least four or six of them done almost without stopping. And you go around a circuit, a circle. Uh, it, it is also not superset as such, which is a technique and concept that is used in bodybuilding where you're doing two exercises without any break, but the muscles that you use are opposing and mostly they are done by isolation. But here it was two compound lifts, but that was not my plan. My plan was not to do what I'm now coining as back to back. You could also think of uh, um, what is what is done in uh, another concept and uh, another uh, uh, fitness thing that is done in Olympic weightlifting and uh, CrossFit called a complex. This is a complex. Either complex is done with a much more lighter weight, uh, including three, four uh, types of lifts. And in, to some degree, they are drills like snatch, and then bring it down to hang snatch and stuff like that. But it is beautiful. I've done those complexes, but not with snatches. I've done, you know, uh, front squat, then go into a clean, then go back squat. And it could be a little bit unsafe if you are trying uh, some challenging weight. But this back-to-back -back concept is, if I was to define in a technical way, then you are doing first your main lift, three sets of five, four sets of five type thing. You are done with that main lift. Then you go to your second main lift, which is lighter. So in this case, it was perfect. I did my back squat and then I was moving on to upper body, which is uh, press. And then I'm not so tired as such, to be honest. And I have been thinking of this, that how it can be put together so that it is not out and out cardio where uh, where you're lying on the floor and it's just dripping with sweat. No, the cardio aspect is there because it is back to back. So here it is. I had forgotten that I left the bar on the rack by itself. I had no plans to finish a few sets of overhead press and then in the middle just go do back squats. So here it is. My fourth set after I had done at least three sets of 10 in overhead press. And this is the magic. I was still very, very uh, aware of my 
depth. I never want to, you know, give myself any excuses that I've done some presses, so I should just take it easy. So I was happy with that. And it was more of an excitement and exhilaration when I was editing the video. So I think after I had done the press, I may have had a little minute or so. But right after the squat, as you will see, I will take my camera and sorry for the close up of my crotch. Sorry. And I'll move it. So that is the kind of break I'm having. Just moving the camera. I think I'll take the plates off. I wish sometime I could have someone who could just focus on, you know, moving the camera. And uh, I would have decided, nah, I think it's too heavy to do uh, 50 kg. So I'm going for 40. And this is not even a minute after a squat. And I was loving it. I'm like, this is good. It is, it is at least has what I call a cardio effect. It is still a kind of a strength workout, but because there is no break, I'm doing my best to do it nice and slow. Uh, I am just puffing. One, two, three. So yes, this was the beautiful accident that happened. I think I've done it before as well, but I had forgotten to share it with you guys. This is a very nice not absolutely brutal, but a pretty good way to, I would say, not waste time because there are times in strength workouts, I feel I take extra long. Look at me. I'm just, see, I, I always like to stand. I don't like to just, I, I'm happy to sit, but I don't like to just completely collapse. I, it's not my thing. And then I continued with more overhead presses. So that is my, my, my journey. Uh, I was very excited to share with you guys. Try it out. Like uh, I would say, uh, for example, get deadlift set up, whatever your uh, you know uh, medium weight is, whatever your 65% RM, I would say, for your deadlift. Squat could be higher. And then um, your 40% of bench press. Have the bench press ready. Uh, nice four to five reps of that deadlift. Take a breather because with deadlift, you don't want to, you know, rush too much. And then straight into bench, 10, 12 reps, pump it out. And uh, and then this, this fatigue carried on for the rest of my sets. I would say I think the combo will be something with squats because I just love squats. I, I, many times when I'm doing my presses, my bench presses, I feel like I could just go and bang out some squats easily. And this was the first time I actually did it. So, it, as I said, it is not, I would say it's circuit training, but it doesn't fit. So, the name itself is something that I had, I did think a lot about, back-to-back -back strength cardio. I mean, I don't want to use that word, but back-to-back -back strength lifting is good. Back-to-back. -back. So, when I'm writing it, I will write back, B-A-C-K, in capitals, to, the letter, the number two, and back in small caps which means that is the lighter lift and that is how it is in my title back to back so it is quite unique of its own i think it i suppose it's better if it's not done with many lifts the four big four that i use uh, maybe it can be done with barbell rows as well you could have two bars ready uh, one for squat one for barbell uh, but nothing extreme crazy cardio crossfit type none of that you still should be able to breathe okay your heart rate will be up but it is not defined by you know how how you know flat you are after it how smashed you are it is not that so um, it is not about totally you know being collapsing and not being able to do anything strength is not that it's not that you feel absolutely um, what's the word eviscerated at the end of it but still challenging and I'm going to build more on this back-to-back -back concept. I will, I will definitely think of more sets and rep ranges, uh, but perhaps that the, the definition of would be that it's not out and out cardio, still strength. Anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. If you like it, please give us a big thumbs up and I will see you in the next one.